Hey, how's it going everyone? Well, welcome back to the channel. And if you are new, please hit the subscribe and like button as I will be putting out more and more videos in the days to come. But for today, what we are gonna be looking at is some of the things that I see on different forums. So I'm hopefully this is a quick video on how to answer the following questions. How do I use an amp synth or plugin? Why is it that I can't hear the distortion from my guitar when using an interface? How do I get my interface and the guitar and all that set up and working? So some of the things I hear a lot on the forums is that it has to deal with buffer size. While that can be true to an extent, I'm going to show you the way that I tend to use my computer, my interface, and all that stuff to work for me. For the longest time, all I could do is just use my headphones. It wasn't until recently that I was actually able to hear it through my speakers. So for this to work, this is just how I do it. All right, there's probably other ways of using things. There's other different interfaces, but this is just the simplest way that I've come to know on how to get music from the speakers or the headphones, but how to get it all to work together. So for this, I'm using my Scarlet Focus, or Scarlet Right Focus, or solo, Scarlet Right, <laughs> Scarlet Solo. And then I'm using just a normal Ernie Ball cable, my Solar V26W guitar. And I'm gonna be using the Neural DPS. I think I'm probably just gonna use the uh, Fort and Cali. That's my personal favorite one. Um, and this is also the way that I use it on Reaper. So I'm gonna show you how you can use it by itself and also how to use it on Reaper. Cause Reaper, there, there is something that's kind of sort of an annoyance to me on how to get it through the speakers and the headphones. But I'm gonna show you guys all on how to do that. This is just gonna be a very simple and basic video on how hopefully I can answer some of these questions that I keep seeing. Cause again, I had the same problems. Um, this is one of the reasons why I was always scared to use amp sims and plugins because I, I just didn't know how it all worked. So hopefully this answers your questions. So um, without further ado, let's get into first the equipment, the setup, and get into the actual computer itself and what you need to do to set everything up. All right, so for the equipment, like I said, I'm just using my Focusrite Scarlet Solo, um, normal guitar plug, guitar, and this is pretty much all the hardware that you will need. Um, you do not need to have the Mackies. These are the CR4X. You don't have to have them, but you do need a set of monitors along with TRS cables if you want to hear your music through the speakers. Now, with the TRS cables and the type of monitors that you're going to need, you're going to need something that has the actual input and output, the left and right, as you can kind of see there. Let me see if I can get a little better shot. You need it for the inputs on the left and right. And what this is going to do is in one of the options for the settings, you are going to be able to set it so that way the I ASIO will go from your interface to your monitors. Without that, there's another way of doing it, but it doesn't, it, there's about like an eight second delay. So for this, as you can see, I'm not using, very important, I'm not using the first plugin. Once we actually get into the DAW, you'll see that I'm using number two. For the direct monitor, all that's going to do is kind of give you um, the feedback from your actual guitar and not the distortion. So you'll kind of hear a little bit of both. And this right here is just the um, head headphone jack. So we don't need to worry about that right now, but I will get to that. So that is all the hardware you are going to need. Now I'm going to show you in the DAW how to set all this up and also just the plugins themselves. All right, so here we are. I have my Solar plugged into my interface. And what I'm going to show you first is pretty much how to use the amp sims that you can get first without it going into the DAW. Um, as you can see, I have my capture display up and display capture up. So let me go on ahead and pull up the Fort and Cali uh, amp sim. There's, and here's how it's going to get set up. I'm just going ahead and minimize that one. All right, so here we are. Let me blow this thing up. 
There we go. All right. So with these AMSIMs, and again, I'm talking specifically with the Neural DSP. It's just the easiest one to use. You're going to go to settings and then where it has audio device, the ASIO. I think I called it AISO anyways. It's the ASIO, all right? That is what you are going to need. If you go direct sound, you can hear it from your speakers, but there is going to be a delay. And that's where a lot of people talk about buffer size and stuff like that. Um, but if you have an interface and you have monitors, this is what you're going to want to do. You want to go to the ASIO. Now I'm going straight into my Focusrite USB ASIO. Uh, the Thunderbolt sometimes works, but it, as you'll see, if I go and try and click on it, it doesn't come up. So we just go to the USB. Now the audio output channels is one and two, so that's where you're going to hear it from. The input channels, remember again, that, that two channel. So the first channel is going to be a microphone. Like if I was doing vocals or something like that, that's what the input one is on this focus, right? So we're just going to unclick that and it's just going to be input two, All right? All this other part right here, I don't even bother messing with it. So take that off. Now you can see it is reading the guitar. All right, I don't have the volume too, too loud. Um, I'm not going to go into recording, but you can see that it is reading it. And that is how, that is how it is going to work for just the simple AmSim plugin. Now going to a DAW, this is where it's going to get a little trickier, but just bear with me and this will all make sense, I promise. All right, so what you're going to do is you're going to in Reaper, again, only for Reaper, get a new track. There's nothing here. All right. And this, again, this is just how I do it. All right. So I'm going to arm it. You're going to see this little drop down menu right here. Click on that, mono. And if you see this left and right, there is something you have to change in the preference. Okay. Let me show you what I'm talking about. You go to options, go to preference, or it says direct sound. Again, this is if you do not have monitor speakers. This is where you'll see that buffer size, sample format, all that's going to be in there. And like me, I had like almost like an eight second delay on whatever I played, I would hear. So in order for this to work, you come up to the audio system sounds, the ASIO once again, check the driver that's going to the Focusrite USB ASIO and everything is correct. First input, again, input two, input two. I am not using the input one on my focus right, just the second one, all right? And you got the output range and you got it pretty much it's to your left and right. You click okay. Now you'll see over in this area, it has changed. It is back to input two and only input two because we did not select input one. And when I go to hit my guitar, it reads. So you want to use one of your fancy new plugins. You click the FX. I kind of have my own little favorites folder. It just makes it easier. Fort and Cali, add. And there you go. And that's how you get it to work. And if you want, now here's, here's the thing. So if you want to use, say you don't have these speakers um, and you only got like normal speakers or anything like that. If you put headphones on through your focus right into that headphone jack, this method will work for you as well. Okay, again, this is just something that I've done that seems to work because whenever I had my old speakers if I went to preference and it was the direct sound, I wouldn't hear anything because I did not have the cables running to the left and right of the back of the speakers. So that is how all of that works. Okay. If you have any other question or concern about this, or you're running into some problems, please, by all means, let me know, put it in the comments. All right. And I will get to it as soon as I can. 
But this is just, it's a different video than I normally do, as you guys know, but I hope that this really does help you out a lot as far as using amp sims, what you're going to, what you're going to, what you're going to do, what you need and how it all works together. And again, please hit that subscribe button, share this with your friends, click the like button. I have more videos on the way. This is just something that I, I woke up this morning and I saw that people kept asking the same question. I was like, you know what? Let me do a quick breakdown video on all this like technical stuff. It's really not once you actually get into it. So thank you again for coming by, checking this video out. It really does mean a lot to me and I hope that you all have a wonderful day. I will see y'all next time.